Hi guys, it's Mrs. B. And Mr. I. Hi guys. Wow, it's so good to see you guys again. It seems like a while, right? Well, we haven't seen each other since before Thanksgiving, so I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. What were you thankful for? I'm thankful for so many things, but especially my family, like Mr. Ari. <laughs> well, this week we are going to learn about a new commandment, and this commandment is different from the last one. The last uh, commandment we were learning about being um, obeying uh, like a covenant promise that you have before God with your husband and your wife. But this one, it's not going to be so hard. It's going to be something that everyone has dealt with. Um, little kids, ever since you were little, you saw a cupcake or you saw something that you liked and you just kind of wanted to have it. And you took it. You took it. And you, you ate it. And you ate it. That was me. <laughs> that was you. Right. Everything is mine. Everything mine is mine. Even if it's not yours, because kids are babies and they don't know any better. But as we get older, we learn that things aren't ours. And there's things that are ours and things that are someone else's. And if it belongs to someone else, we can always ask if we can borrow it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we can say, can I play with your toy or can I hold it? But somebody can say no, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not yours. It's not yours. Mm -hmm. No. But if I take it anyway, well, that, stealing. that is what they call stealing. And God says in the Bible, thou shall not steal. That basically says stealing is a no-no. We should never take what's not ours unless someone gives it to us or we have permission or we buy it. Maybe you, uh, you save up your pennies and you buy something, then it's yours. And then if you want to share it with someone, you can. But then, if you don't, and you just decide to take something, and your mommy said, don't touch that, don't take it, and then you take it and hide it in your room. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's bad. That's stealing. And that's not ours, right? And then we're going to go into our next commandment because I think these kind of go together. A lot of times when you take something, you feel bad about it. And your mom says, you took that toy. That doesn't belong to you. And what do you say? Uh-uh. was me. <laughs> but it was you. You have it. I see it in your pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. What pocket? That's a lie. Are there little lies? Mm-hmm. No. There's no little lies. Are well, there... everything is alive. So there's little lies and big lies, but they're all the same. They're all the same. So the reason why I say are there little lies is because sometimes we can minimize it. We can make it ah. seem, right? We can make it seem like some lies are little because if I just said I don't have it and I do, then you think that's not that big of a deal. But if I say a big lie and I really did something that I think is worse, mm -hmm. then you think that's a big lie. Like, But there's no big lies. There's no little lies. They're all the same. They're all the same. Right. They're all lies. So we should always tell the truth, right? right. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. And God says in the Bible, the truth will set you free. And the truth, we should always know what the truth is, right? And if we don't, like, if you feel that you, a lot of times when we lie, uh oh, a lot of times when we lie, it's because we're afraid, right? Mm -hmm. Usually that's what it is because you, somebody is asking you something and you, you don't want to tell them the right answer for no because you feel like maybe they won't be my friend anymore or mm -hmm. anything anything right the you know or sometimes you want to say something nice and you're like oh mommy says hey do I look fat in this outfit and you say no no, but if I do, then you could say, I just don't want to answer that. Exactly. That's so much better than telling a lie. Even if you think that that's a good lie because you don't want to hurt the person's feelings, it doesn't matter. A lie is a lie. So if you don't want to hurt that person's feelings, it's better not to. Say it at all. Just say, uh, I'd rather not answer the question. <laughs> right. I'd rather, I'm not 
can do that. I, and then Ari used to say when he was little, I don't want to lie, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. I don't. So he would just, he wouldn't answer the question. So if he was afraid, he may not answer. But it's better to, if you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, it's better to not answer. But if it's your mommy or your daddy or your principal or somebody who's in charge of you, you better answer yeah. the question. And answer you the question. always should tell the truth. Always, always. So remember, don't take things that don't belong to you and always, always be honest. That's always the rule. Always be honest and think, what would Jesus do? Would he want you to lie? No. Would he want you to steal? No. Those are two things that on our Ten Commandments, those are things that a lot of the little kids can understand because that happens a lot. Sometimes we say things that um, are not true and we, our mommies and daddies will reprimand us and say, don't do that. And then we learn that that is not the right thing to do. And also when we take things that don't belong to us, we learn that that's not good either. So we have to follow those 10 commandments and those are two and we only have one left. Can you believe that? Yeah. One left. So next week we're gonna do that. But I also just wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I hope we'll be able to do another video video before Christmas but just in case I want to send when out is Christmas two weeks from now it is two weeks from now well a little less than two weeks from now but I want to wish you guys a merry merry Christmas we love you guys we love you guys Roscoe <laughs> and Pete they both say bye happy, and, happy, happy and they're Christmas. gonna be very nice on Christmas day aren't they they yes, said they're they gonna be very nice yes, are you guys are. gonna give gifts to each other <laughs> you are Awesome! What are you guys going to give to each other? <laughs> oh, worms again? Oh, gosh. All right. Well, you're going to give worms, but no biting, right? This Christmas. Hey, hey, hey! No <laughs> biting. Give each other some love. Oh, that's nice. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, love guys. you. Merry Christmas if we don't see you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We love you so much. And remember, the Ten Commandments. We're already on number nine. We're going to number ten next Ooh, week. One more left. One more left. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.